That looks pretty damn good. Hi, I'm Mike. I'm Don. And this is the International Space Station Science Garage. This episode is about fixing your barbecue. I mean, what is this? I mean, we're, this, we're working on your barbecue. What happened to your barbecue? It wasn't working. Okay. And so, and so Don, you know, we live- You had live a problem with gas. I had a problem with, uh, we had a problem, yes, and it's a gas barbecue that was having trouble with, it just wasn't working that well. And so like many things that break in my house, I called Don to help me out, because Don's very handy. And, and so you, you helped me it, out with the, and, and with, we with the barbecue. The, the long and short of, of taking the valve apart, looking at the hoses and fittings and stuff, we couldn't really find anything wrong with it. But that's uh, the problem when you have so, a, so it has so, to be some. So we think it's, yeah. So we think it's somewhere in the gas line or something. Yeah, and okay. so it's a bigger project than we expected. Yeah. But you seem very comfortable working on on the barbecue. And I was wondering, did anything in your, in, when I, I tweeted this, and people would tell, ask me, well, you know. How did you prepare to do this? And was there anything in your space background that oh. helped you with with? Because you were really good at troubleshooting well, we have, that we, barbecue. We have this experiment. It's like a, a space barbecue. But a space it's a, barbecue. It's a fancy one. You and, don't cook on it, though. No, we don't cook on right. it. But we we cook pieces of solid flammable material. Uh -huh. So this falls under the category of a combustion experiment. This is science. Science, yeah, absolutely. And so we are learning about how solids burn in air. And so we'll, we'll have a little piece of plastic, happens to be polymethylmethacrylate. Say that really fast three times, it's hard to do. Uh, so polymethylmethacrylate and- You're not making that up, are you? No, no, right, no, that's... no, that's the, the real name. All right. And so uh, we have a little piece of this and then we have air blowing on it, so it's forced convection. That means you're blowing on it. Mm -hmm. And then you ignite it, and this thing just uh, goes to town in terms of combustion. It spits out all kinds of little, little flammable sparks, mm -hmm. and, and flames go all over, but it makes a spherical flame. Mm -hmm. Because, okay, so <laughs> there's a couple things here. One is you said that you, it's forced comb in combustion. Yeah. Right? Oh, and why do you need forced combustion? Well, because a flame will extinguish itself because it will consume the air around it. It'll consume the oxygen in the air around it. And there's no convection. There's no buoyancy driven convection from gravity. So it can't get new oxygen going to it. And it consumes all the oxygen in its vicinity because the reaction rate for combustion is fast. And then the flame goes out. So theoretically, if you had a flame in space, an open flame in space, it would go out. That's right. Be, uh, because it doesn't have but, any But you fan the fire, which we know, you mm -hmm. know, you fan the fire mm -hmm. and it burns. You fan the fire in space and it burns really, really well. But on Earth that wouldn't work because gravity will keep it going. Yeah, gravity fans the fire automatically. I mean, everybody knows heat rises. When heat rises, cold air comes in underneath mm -hmm. and now all of this is complements of gravity. So why were you doing this in space? Why did you care? Because... You generally don't want fire. Well, there's a, a couple of things about the fire. One, our whole society is based on fire. I mean, we have, have we burn coal to make electricity, we, all our automobiles, all the engines of our, of our society use fire to work. And so it behooves us, that's a big word. Behoof. Uh, to understand more about how the fire works. So we do it for a fundamental combustion reasons, mm -hmm. okay? And then practical reasons for if you had a fire on space station, what could you do to put the fire out. What could you do? You turn the fan off. Turn the fan off. Turn the fan off. And, and so we teach our kids, if you catch on fire, what, what do our kids say? You stop, <laughs> drop, and roll. roll. Okay. So Remember that, kids. So what do you but do? But don't catch on fire. What do you do? The best if, thing to do is if, avoid catching on fire. Yeah, you don't want to catch don't on catch fire. Don't catch on fire. So what do you do if you're in space and you catch on fire? Stop. stop. There's no dropping really. There's no drop. Because you can't. Yeah. And, and you don't want to roll. You can't roll. It's not, yeah, so, it's going to make it worse, I think. So, in space. so it's just stop. It's stop. really easy. Just stop. Stop. Stop everything. Stop, turn off the fan. That's yeah, it. That's it. All right. Okay, I'm going to take off barbecue very serious in Texas. <laughs>